Hi, my name is Kurt Holst. I'm with the SAP Business Analytics Services team. And in this video, I will show you how to enhance SAP predictive analysis with your own algorithms from R and the capabilities that you can get, get extra from predictive analysis by doing that. Well, I will, uh, as just mentioned, demonstrate very simply how you can embed your own algorithms from R into predictive analysis. There's actually just a few steps needed to enhance predictive analysis with these new algorithms. And besides uh, what you can do in predictive analysis today, you can enhance with even uh, further data mining capabilities in predictive analysis with new algorithms. There's a lot out there. The last time I checked, there were more than 4,000 algorithms out there. Besides actually having the extra statistical algorithms, you can also enhance predictive analysis with further chart or visualization capabilities. And I will show you that in a step by step in a moment. The prerequisites is that you have, of course, uh, predictive analysis installed, uh, release uh, 1, uh, service pack 11, and you also need to have uh, R installed on the same machine. And if you use some special algorithms, you should, of course, also have the libraries needed there. I will in a few uh, moments just show you uh, exactly live how this is done. It's basically done in three steps. From predictive analysis, uh, predictive tab, you add a new component, you give your R script a name, you uh, cut and paste your algorithm from your R editor into uh, predictive analysis, you give it some names, you set up the, the following parameters so it's a uh, higher con user convenience for the end users to see what they can do with this. And, as promised, uh, you will get even further capabilities uh, to visualize your data. Uh, predictive Analysis and Lumira, they have a lot of visualization capabilities today, as you can see here. If you add R, you get even further. I mean, there's a lot out there. So if you are, uh, you have some algorithms that you know from R, then you are capable now of uh, embedding those. Just an example. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, go into it and I will show you how to do this step by step. I'm opening uh, my uh, R editor and then I will cut and paste my script, my algorithm into predictive analysis so you can see for yourself. Here, and the, the example that I will be using is a known one. It's I will use a, I'll create my own k-means uh, function that I will then run inside uh, of uh, predictive analysis. This one is my R editor, and I can also uh, create visualizations in here, of course, that, that we will in a moment see that these visualizations can now be used inside uh, my own uh, predictive analysis tool. Okay, that's it. So I will now uh, cut and paste my uh, R script here inside predictive analysis. I will go over here, and I will start a new document. I will use uh, some prepared data from an Iris database. I have uh, five, oh, sorry, four measures and uh, one category here, displaying what kind of flowers these are. I will uh, take these data into predictive analysis. I have them here. Go to my predict tab. I will add a new component, R script. I'll give it a name. So we go here, and I could also give it a description. I'll go to my next, and as promised, I will simply cut and paste my data in here. I will fill out the parameters as I showed on the slide deck, my k-mean function, and I would also like to have my input data frame, give my output data frame a name, and my k-means function. I will also want to visualize my data. There we go. And then I can click next to fill out my missing information here. I would like to um, give this one a name. My, I will. What I'm doing is a cluster, so I will give it a name and cluster are engineer in my case. And I will make a change to the factor names here. Select factors, and to give it a higher user convenience, 
I could give the user the opportunity to select some uh, factors or I could simply leave it as it is. In this case, I would like them to choose multiple factors from my data set. Here I have my, my cluster number. I could say I would like default to have three. The user can of course override this, but that's fine. But I would like it to be integer. And how many iterations should it do? Um, I could set a default value. So that's easier for the customer or the user to see. And this one is also an integer. Almost done now. So just click finish here. And now I have my new script. How to are k-means. I will add this one onto my iOS data. Set up my parameters. Choose the different factors that I need. Save and close. And I can just run my model here. Perfect. Let's see what it got. Now I've created a new one, new column here, a cluster column. As you can see, my own R function now works perfectly. And now I can see my charts. These charts do not exist in predictive analysis as it is today, but you can enhance predictive analysis with your own R scripts and also uh, the different ways of visualizing the information that you find from there. So that was actually an end-to-end -end demonstration of how to embed your own R script into predictive analysis and also enhance with the visualization capabilities that, that you would like to have. That is almost the end of it. I'll just show you how to find uh, the right algorithm that you're looking for. Go to rseq.org and enter um, information here that you are interested in. It could be business oriented. For instance, if you're interested in insurance, they will show you uh, different sets of algorithms that's usually used inside the insurance business. You can also seek for specific uh, algorithms um, if you know them. That was it. Thank you for listening.